Hi everyone, it's Steph. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing so well. I hope you enjoyed the Gibraltar vlog. Today I am going to do my little unboxing um, goodies that I have been sent, have bought using gift cards and actually one that has been due the last couple of months. So let's head straight into it. Now, the first thing that I got, I did have to unbox it separately, but I wanted to show you guys this um, just because I am so happy I've got it and it will feature again in another video, which I think will be coming out after this one to be fair. But it's this little um, canvas here that basically I got my gran a while back and I accidentally had it sent to Fleet. So it's been on a bit of a redirection journey. And it's a photo of Kaz and Fudge. She did have a, another photo of Kaz and Fudge on canvas. However, it got ruined. So she's got a replacement now. But Kaz, obviously we lost last year and that was the last dog that Gran had um, before going into the care home. And Fudge is the first dog that she's going to have at home after coming out of the care home. So it's nice that we've got a photo of both of them together. Even if Fudge is pretty much looking away from the camera in that photo. Next, we have the one that everyone has been waiting for the last few months now. This is from Lost Stock. Now, if you remember me telling you guys on Instagram a few months ago, Lost Stock are doing boxes that um, they're £35 but you get 50% off the RRP of the clothes and the boxes support a family for a week so where the Covid situation caused a lot of the shops to lock down it meant that the factories uh, their orders got cancelled and because they only get paid when the clothes actually ship it means the workers haven't been paid and a lot of them have been laid off but i will leave a link below if you want to get one at yourself they've also extended it now as well because when i was um when i ordered this the the day they went live it was women's wear only and now i think they're doing kids i'm not too sure about men's wear i will double check but i will let you know in the description if it is women's men's and kids or if it's just women's and kids wear but let's get this open. This is another one that's been on a redirection journey uh, because I did order it back in like April. Inside it says lost stock. This is not a box, it's better. 100%, a 100% compostable bag, easier to transport and better for the environment. Go bag. Let's have a quick look at what we've got to say. This one, if you remember right, uh, if you remember, I basically, um, I'm going to do like a whole video on, on this actually. So this will actually feature in the, in the video about Lost Stock as well. But you basically have a questionnaire, you do all the questionnaire, fill it out and it picks clothes based on your preferences. So my first item is this one. So this is just a basic quite a nice i quite like this actually it's quite a baggy um almost like crop top however being a wheelchair user crop tops aren't really crop tops on me um especially if i compare it with a nice pair of high-waisted jeans which i love high-waisted jeans my body does not like me in high-waisted jeans but that is definitely one that's going to be getting used love it and then the second one is this so as you can tell, I basically was like stripes are good um, and neutral colours as well, like black and white, um, black and white and blues uh, tend to be my go-tos. So this one is another nice top. I quite like the detail on the ends actually. That's that's very very pretty. And. It's got like this little tie, so it's, it's a tie one uh, at the bottom, which is really nice. And again, super, super, super generous on the sizing, which I love. And then our final one, because you get three items in the box, is this one. 
Now, I'm not 100% sure on this one, to be fair. Um, it's not something that I would normally go for in the shops, but it does look like it could be quite a useful um, work top, sort of if, uh, especially because we're going to Mallorca in November, if it goes ahead. Uh, this could be quite nice in the evenings to wear with some white jeans and, you know, just, just pair it up a little bit. And it's got all this detail at the back as well with the button as well which is beautiful and there's a little note in there which I didn't realise so it says meet your new lost stock clothes we can't wait to see how you style them show them off using hashtag lost stock on social media to help us continue to spread the word and help more people if you don't want to keep everything go to loststock.com slash impact to discover the many positive things you can do from donating to upcycling and clothes swapping we do accept returns but this severely impacts the number of families we and our partners are able to support it's not great for the environment either and then on the back, it says, by buying your lost stock box, you've supported a worker and their family for a week for a partnership with, Sa is it Saudi, 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 I'm really sorry, I cannot pronounce that. Um, so, but it's the foundation that lost stock are supporting. Um, so they're a non-profit organization, which started in 1993. They're going to offer microfinance, avoid affordable healthcare and social development programs for over 6 million people working across 26 districts in Bangladesh. This work is vital during the COVID-19 pandemic and the foundation are providing food and essential supplies to hundreds of thousands of people. This is a crucial lifeline in these devastating times as factories are shut and there's a limited social safety net to fall back on. And you can learn more about the foundation um, by the Lost Stock website. So that is that one. And then next we have um, this little package here. And I think I know what these are. So I mm, I basically said about it on Instagram about the um, face coverings that actually work for me. Well, I saw these ones on Instagram that are very similar. And um, basically these are from First Essence and they are the face coverings that I somehow managed to breathe through. Um, so I've got some more styles because I basically needed more styles to go with my clothes, but also I love the fact that these turn into little like neck scarves and even when you put them on actually, and I haven't, it's really not, I don't have my hair um, in the right way to do it, but when you put them on, you can still actually tie this around your neck if you're quite, if you're like me and you've got um, not that big of a neck, you can actually tie them around with the mask on and kind of create like your own little neck scarf into a mask. So this is the, the first design. I think I've got another basic white one. I've also got um, basic black as well, just for work. And then I've got a couple of other cute designs as well. Um, and I also have my own little place to hang them up in my wardrobe. So that is this one. And because they're chiffon, they're so easy to breathe through as well. I feel like I can definitely breathe through these a lot more easily than um, cotton ones. Cotton ones really do not help me with humidity. Although having said that, the humidity at the moment, I'm actually struggling with. And to be fair, in Gibraltar, um, I took my face covering off quite quickly in Gibraltar after the um, the, the runway and that runway was done at like nine o'clock at night. Um, the rest of the time in Gibraltar, apart from in the airport, I wasn't actually wearing a face covering um, because it was just the, the weather front down there was just too difficult for me to breathe through. And also the mask covering, uh, the face covering laws down there are completely different to the UK as well. This is another pattern that we've got here, which will be quite nice to go with some of my more, um, I don't know how to say it, like not like my less patenty, patenty designs that I have dress wise and top wise. Um, and then I've got this one, which is just another, um, it's another black one to just go with black dresses and things like that. Um, and the really nice thing about this, if you get confused on which, which way to wear them out, the bit that has the double scarf goes on the outside and then the other goes on the inside. Um, and then obviously I take these bits off just so that I can stretch the 
um, stretch them around to where I have my pigtails because I can't wear anything around my ears because one look and because where my ears fold inwards one sort of glance whatever and it, it's just off so that's those and then finally this is a little treat to me and Alex via a gift card and discount and everything else um <laughs> I've got so many gift cards to use up it's ridiculous so these are basically going to be boring because it's two of the exact same with the exact same size as well um but yes we've been on the van shop and yes we have been shopping and yes vans have these beauties and yes alex and i are now the same size in shoes as well because my um feet aren't actually swelling as much now it means that my shoe size has gone down significantly actually although i think half of that might also be my chair positioning because my obviously i've had my rdk now for the last part of the year best part of a year now and my foot plate positioning stops my feet and stops all like the fluid problem that I used to get when I was in my old wheelchair. And I'm on a better pressure relief cushion as well. Um, so, and obviously I have other things going on. So this is what they look like. I'm not gonna open the others too much because this will be mine, the others are going to Alex. But, I mean, I can't believe I'm down to a six and a half in shoes because I I mean two years ago I was eight and a half in shoes but there we go um but that's what they look like I I love them they're so nice um so these are comfy crush eras in tie-dye checker and they also have tie-dye checker in um with with um black background and not just white background as well and then just to prove that they're the exact same ones in this one there we go so Alex is are in here and staying in here pretty much and I'm probably going to be wearing mine at some point but yeah they definitely are a new one like a new one definitely another pair to go with my Reeboks and also I just I live in vans especially when traveling and hopefully we're getting back to travel now but that's the interiors as well. I just thought I'd quickly show them because they are quite cute. So that is everything unboxed for August. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you're new to the channel, turn on the notifications. And the next video I can't wait to share with you guys because it will be exactly what I've put in my grand's hamper. Welcoming her home because she She's actually, I mean, I'm filming this video on the, on Monday today. So today's Monday. And she is home in a week. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and see you all in the next one. Bye.